Good morning, everyone. Today, we're going to do a group activity for our live class today. And we're going to start off by dividing up into groups. Now, here, I've provided a list that you can access through Microsoft Teams that provide the uh, team members or the group members. Here it's listed as team members. We're going to refer to this as team members in Microsoft Teams. Here we have 12 different groups. So here you should find your name in one of the uh, groups. If your name does not appear here, obviously uh, let me know. Uh, this is going to be our first activity working in Teams and we're going to have an opportunity to work in uh, different teams throughout the semester. But this week we're going to be working in uh, teams or working in groups accordingly. Okay, so refer to this list to see which team or which group you're going to be a member of. And then we're going to go into Microsoft Teams. And you'll notice that we have 12 hidden channels. If you click on this, you'll find a list of 12 different groups. So depending on the team or the group number, you're going to go into that same number here. So for example, if I go into group 1, you'll notice here along the top we have some familiar uh, tabs. We have posts, we have files, and we have notes. So here, this is where you can use the post feature to communicate via text or audio or video. We have all the same options along the bottom of our screen that we have uh, come familiar with or we've become familiar with in the general tab. Okay, so each channel has all of these features along the bottom for posting. We also have files. Now files is going to be specific to the group. So notice here we have no files in this group because again the files are going to be specific to each group. Any files that you upload in your group here are not going to appear anywhere else in any of the other channels including the general channel. The general channel is its own channel and they're going to have their own files or it will have its uh, its own files. All right, so again, each group is going to have files, and here's where you can upload and you can work with any of these files that's listed here a Word document, Excel spreadsheet, and so on. You can choose any of these to work with in any of the activities you're asked to perform throughout the semester. Now, here under notes, this is where you can create a OneNote. The first time you go into a group, you're going to have this page, and you're going to need to click Start Collaborating. Okay, If you simply click this button, it will create automatically a OneNote for you. Now, it'll be empty. If you click down this drop-down menu, you can add pages as you want, and simply type in over here and begin using these notes features as possible. This is OneNote and again the OneNote is going to be specific to each group. If I go into group 2 and I click on notes notice that because this is a new group I'll still need to click start collaborating. Okay so this is a process that each of you will need to go through to create a OneNote if you want to use OneNote in this activity or any subsequent activities that we uh, that we uh, perform. All right, so here you find your group, you go into your group, and you can begin working together. Now, each group, because this is a speaking class, this activity that I'm going to ask you to perform is going to require that you interact with each other, speaking in English, speaking and listening in English. And so we're going to use, you guys are going to use this Meet feature. So here, just like we do every day in class, 
you guys can go in and click meet and meet with each other. In this case, groups of three or four are going to meet together, clicking this meet feature and working online, discussing and talking online. Uh, when you go into the meet feature, you can work together and go back and forth between teams to fill out these uh, any notes or any documents or files that are related to your conversations. So today what I'd like for you to do is to go into Microsoft Teams, go into your group with your team members, and I would like for you to share a story about your family, a, a story that you uh, are, maybe it was a really good experience for you, maybe it was something that uh, really made you happy, a positive experience with your family, and I'd like for you to tell a story in English to your classmates. Now, your classmates need to work together in taking notes, all right? So as you are telling your story, your other classmates need to create a file, a document, or a, or a OneNote document, and take notes. Here's how I would recommend that you do that, okay? And you can use a variety of different uh, document types, but I'm just going to use Word just for, uh, just as an example. You could just as easily do this on a OneNote document. But here's how I would create some notes. As your partner is telling a story, or as you are telling your story to your partners, your partners, here's what they can do. They can create a title of the name of whoever speaking. So you can introduce yourself so that they know your name if they don't already know you. And we could, you can put the name of the person who's telling the story here. And then I would use an outline form. And in this outline form, I would write out the question words. What are the question words? Well, we have what, how, why, when, where, maybe with whom. Okay. This will give us a good starting point. And within each of these sections, the storyteller, your classmate who's telling the story, is going to be talking, is going to be giving you some information. And all of the information that's coming from this story should follow at least one of these categories. So if the person is talking about a recent trip to uh, Puerto Vallarta, well, you can put in PV, you can put in the, the location. Now, the location probably needs to go under where. So where was the uh, vacation with the, the, the family members? Maybe they talked about why they went on vacation. Right? Maybe they mentioned this, the speaker mentioned relaxation to relax. Okay, so whatever the person tells you, whatever information the speaker is giving you about the story, about the family members, right? Then that's what you can list out here. Now, the family with whom? The family members. So grandma, grandpa, mother, father, sister, brother. You can ev include names of the family members if it comes up but the idea here is that the listeners of the uh, group are going to work together and write out work together in this document which can be shared amongst the entire group and you can write out the information that's coming from the story the listeners can also take this same information and ask questions right so maybe the person, the speaker, did not talk about how the family traveled to the vacation spot. So you might ask a question, well, how did you get to PV? Well, we took a bus. We drove a car. We took a taxi. I don't know. We drove with some friends. Right? Who drove? All right? And all of that information, you can keep continually following up with questions to get more and more detail about the story. 
So if you write out this information, you can use this as a guide to you can follow up and ask more specific questions until hopefully you have a lot of information for each of these categories. For each of the question words, you have some information that relate to the story. Again, this is one story, one person telling his or her story, and the listeners of the group are following up and completing this as the story is being told. And again, you guys can go back and forth between questions and answers depending on how the story is, is being presented. Now, if the person, because all of this needs to be in English, we need to work really, uh, we need to work closely together to encourage each other and help each other with vocabulary, right? With trying to help each other communicate and to be understood. So some of our questions might be for clarification. I'm sorry, can you repeat that, please? Uh, what do you mean by this? Can can you explain that again, please? Thank you. Thank you for explaining that, right? Try to use please and thank you throughout your conversations as you're helping each other to clarify what you're trying to say. So today's activity is, is not only about sharing our stories. It's not only about getting to know each other. It's also about helping each other with our language development, with our development of the English language. All of this needs to be done in English. If someone states something in Spanish, say, I'm sorry, can you repeat that in English, please? Encourage each other. And this activity is designed to accomplish uh, many things. Okay, so try to use this system here and because when we finish this activity we're going to rely on this for the listeners to recall the story okay so this information is not only to clarify and to get a better understanding of the story this is also going to help the listeners turn around and then recall restate the story retell the story so you're going to say, uh, Monica told me this. Monica has, you know, these are her family members. They went on a store. They went on a vacation to Puerto Vallarta, etc. All right. So when your member of your team finishes his or her story, then you go into, you create another heading for the next person to tell his or her story. And I would follow the same idea. So each person is going to have a group of question words that are going to directly relate to the story. Okay, so again, I would just, in fact, you could just copy and paste. Once you have done it once, copy and paste it again here and follow up. If you have three members, you're going to have three entries, very much like this. If you have four members, there are a few groups that are going to have four members. You have four. If you only have two members, then you'll only have two entries here in the document. Okay, again, you can use a Word document. You can use OneNote. I think probably those two types of files are going to be the most uh, appropriate for this type of activity. All right, so this is what we're going to do. When we finish this activity, we're going to have all day today in class to complete this activity. The final thing we're going to need to do, and, and I'll, I'm going to include this link to Flipgrid. We're going to have an entry in Flipgrid, much like what we did with the introductions. If you have not yet uploaded your introduction to this space in Flipgrid, I'm going to ask you also to do that. The first step everyone needs to do is to complete the introductions assignment from yesterday. When you complete today's activity, I'm going to ask that you find one person from this list to respond to. Now, how do we respond? So we can go into any one person. So my name is... 
and scroll down below the one any one person and we can add a comment we're going to click add a comment and from here you're going to reply to one person from this list and you're going to retell the story of the person that told you the story you're basically retelling the story that you developed in uh, in this in this activity okay so you can choose one now here's what I would do I would work together in your groups to decide who's going to retell which story right because that way then when you go in and you choose one person to, to retell the story you're not all talking about the same story that you're all representing different stories but just choose one person from this list of introductions make sure obviously that you're not retelling the story to the person who told you the story so you can basically choose anyone from this list except for the one person that told you the story choose the person and it doesn't have to be your team member it can be someone else and retell the story okay this will be the final step of uh, of this activity okay so again take a look at the list to see which team member or which group member that you are part of go into Microsoft Teams and find your group and from here make sure that you go into and create a meeting so that you're all talking with each other and it doesn't matter if you get kicked out from the other group uh, our main group that's going to be in general I'm, it's going to remain open and I'm going to ask you to, to come back to our class to our main class at 930 at 930 I'm going to ask you to come back into this main class that we have scheduled uh, for um, each day. And But meanwhile, throughout today's class, you can join your group and create your own meeting and have your own conversations within your own space, completing a file, as I mentioned here. You're going to create your file. You're going to write out your notes, as I mentioned. Prepare for how you want to retell the story, decide which story you're going to retell, and then finally go to click, clip, uh, Flipgrid sorry, under Introductions and choose one person to reply to. Again, remember, you, you need to open up the Hello, file man. and scroll down and click Add a Comment. You're going to actually add a comment to one person to for you to retell the story of uh, one of your classmates, one of your teammates. Notice here I have gone through and left comments and uh, to uh, many of your videos, I'm, and I'm going to continue doing so so that I've left a comment to everyone's uh, video. But again, choose anyone that's on the list except for the person who told you the story. All right, so I'm going to be online. If you have questions, try to work this out. I'm creating these instructions in a video so that you can go back and listen as many times as necessary, that you can pause these instructions, you can talk about these instructions. This first activity, I want you first to rely more on your team members than you do uh, that you rely on me, more so than you rely on me. I'd rather you really try to work out and figure out these instructions with your classmates with this video that I'm providing as a way again to uh, to build a connection with your team members right and again introduce yourselves from the beginning and and try to get right into this activity today this is what we're going to be focusing on uh, during uh, today's activity okay so this will conclude this, these instructions. Again, feel free to reply and um, repeat, pause this video as much as you need to.
but I want to give us today in class to complete this activity. Okay, so I look forward to uh, hearing your responses.